the core of a line is the internal structure of the line. Many, many years ago when line first started being made and it was stranded together, as in these three strands, it didn't have a core because the outside wrapping of the line, the fibers and the yarns and the strands around itself, it didn't need a core. But then as they needed more strength, they went to a four or a five strand. And at that point, they had to put something inside to give it the round structure. And so we call that the core. Since that time period, it has developed tremendously into different types of, of line. Most of the lines that you're gonna use on your sailboat and even your, your modern nylon double braids have some sort of core. This is where the manufacturer gets really into, okay, we're gonna create this unique kind of line to provide the performance that a modern high-tech sailboat might want that's an ocean racer versus your everyday casual sailor. So we can go from a, a very high-tech line like this Endure braid from New England Rope and this Endure braid has a pure Dyneema core. So there is no elongation whatsoever. It has less than you know a quarter of a percent. And then it has a polyester cover to it. So this cover um, is what is actually going around your winch or through your cleat. And this protects the Dyneema both from UV and from damage and maintains the strength of the line. However, it's not a common splice. This takes a special, what we call core to core splice. Now this was Dyneema. This one here is a New England rope called VPC, and this has a Vectran core in it. Again, it's an eight strand, but it's made out of Vectran. Another type of uh, core is something like Marlowe's D2 Club. That rope has a core that's made up of several fibers. So we have Dyneema, it's got a polyolefin in it. So it's kind of in between price-wise and strength. The D2 Club is sort of an alternative where you might do casual Wednesday night racing. So you want a little bit of performance, but you know you don't have the big high budget <laughs> for something like Endure Braid. So D2 Club is an alternative to that. Then you go to a regular polyester double braid, which is something like New England Rope Stay Set or Nova Braids XLE. Those are just common everyday polyester double raids that we would use for our you know, sheets and halyards. If we're just day sailing, going out for casual sale, price is uh, favorable and it's not a high budget item. Where some of these other lines are, are two and three times as much per foot, but you get much more performance out of them. All right, one of the things that we do here quite often is uh, for folks who are really into Wednesday night racing or uh, they're doing uh, offshore racing and they're looking for lightness, they're looking for uh, quickness, they want, still want to protect the rope, um, but they still need the strength and, and zero stretch, is we can do what they call stripping the cover. Uh, so if your spinnaker sheet is 60 feet long, we might take the first 40 feet of it and actually remove the cover so that we have just the internal core. We'll put an eye in it and then run it down 40 feet, and then we'll cut the cover off and then just do a special splice and bury this cover inside the core. Then we take the other end and just put a whip in it. That's the end that would actually be on the vessel or on your sailboat and would go around the winches, go through the pulleys, fair leads, blocks, things like that. So you have the diameter to handle it and make it still handy, but have the performance when you're in real light airs of having this line that barely weighs anything. Um, so for like light air sailing. So this is a common method that we're seeing more and more of stripping covers off of uh, sheets and even some halyards. There are some modern sailboats now that are stripping the halyard and only keeping the last 20 feet where it goes around the winch uh, or through a jam cleat in order to keep uh, the halyard up when you're underway. If you like what you see so far, we've got a free basic sail trim course for you. Everybody comes back to us and say that they love the course. Even advanced people say, wow, I actually learned some things. So the link to the course is in the video description below.